Welcome back everyone. So today I wanted to film a tarantula feeding video. It's been a while since I filmed one of these, but this is really the most popular video on my channel. Um, tarantula feeding videos are stuff you guys always ask me to see, and my most viewed tarantula feeding video has like almost 4 million views right now, so I really wanted to make more of them. Uh, hopefully I can make like, I really want to try to upload once a week. Uh, that's my goal. If I can do more than that, then I definitely will. But this year, I really want to focus on making a lot more content for you guys. And I want to start releasing products like this hat right here. I've been working on some hats and also I've been working on music. So uh, I might do a live stream one of these days. And uh, I definitely need you guys to subscribe and turn on the post notifications because if you do that then uh, you're gonna be notified for when I go live so if I go live and I start like showing you guys how I make music and how I make the hats and talking about my animals and all that um, I think that's gonna be something that you guys will really enjoy watching uh, but yeah let's get into some tarantula feeding all right so the first tarantula I wanted to take a look at is the curly hair tarantula and something that I wanted to point out that I thought was kind of funny is that she has a ton of web up here. So she must have been doing some work. Check this out. You can see all the web right there. And of course she has it all around there, but it's just surprising to see it at the top of her cage. I haven't actually ever caught her uh, walking up there, but she usually just chills inside of there. Let's see if I can get a good shot of her. It's kind of hard here, but I think a super worm should get her out. So let's try that. All right, so I got the super worm right here and I'm gonna drop it in in three, two, one. Oh, I dropped it a little bit too. F oh, wait, she's coming out. There we go. That's awesome. Wait, let's see if I can get a better shot over here. Oh my gosh. This is honestly one of my biggest tarantulas. Like, I do have salmon pink bird eater tarantulas, which are bigger than this one, but with the curly hairs that these guys have, it's just crazy. And here she is from the side. If you take a close look right there at the middle of the screen, you can see her eyes. Tarantulas have eight eyes and eight legs. The two legs at the front right here, those are known as pedipalps. So when you look at them and actually start counting them, you might count 10, but two of those aren't legs. So you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. These front two are pedipops. They're kind of like the tarantula's arms. Uh, and then the others are the eight legs. All right, so now that we're done here, let's go ahead and feed another tarantula. All right, so right here we have my green bottle blue tarantula. And I wanna point something out here. Um, this tarantula, the way she's currently sitting, uh, I can tell that she's stressed and it's probably, well it's definitely, because I just moved her enclosure over here to film. Uh, cause right before this she was definitely relaxed, uh, and then I saw her curl up. Nothing's really gonna happen to her, but, uh, I think it's gonna be cool to notice how she's just gonna eat instantly and this stressful position really doesn't do anything to her uh i'll pick up a super worm right here and i'll drop it right in front of her all right so i'll drop the super worm in in three two one and there we go let's see if she's gonna eat all right perfect so i mean after working with these tarantulas for so many years it's pretty easy to read them um this tarantula is one of my favorites. I mean, any blue tarantula is automatically one of my favorites. Uh, all time favorite though has to be the Goody Sapphire Ornamental, which is the P. Metallica. Those are just crazy tarantulas. And I might try to show one later. So if you stick through to the end of the video, you'll probably see her. She's still going pretty crazy right there with this super worm. That super worm isn't going down without a fight. All right, so now we got some pretty cool shots of this tarantula. Let's move on to another one. Oh, but before we go, I wanted to show you this right here. That is what the food looks like after she's done eating it. So this is from a previous feeding. So as far as tarantula cleanup goes, you gotta take this out, throw it out, and you're good. 
I should also clean the water bowl a little bit, but I'll get that done in a second. Oscar's over here and I think he wants to eat some of those super worms, but I have some more tarantulas to feed, so maybe later. All right, so right here we have my chili and rose hair tarantula. And this was actually my first tarantula that I ever got. She's between 16 to 18 years old right now. So she's also my oldest tarantula. I don't know if she's gonna eat, so I'm just gonna drop a super worm in and we'll see. Let's see, I have it right here. So I'll drop it in in three, two, one. All right, let's see if he's hungry. She might just get a little bit scared by it and leave it alone, but, oh. She might go for it. If it starts digging down, I'm gonna have to grab it really quick. Oh, that looks better. I just turned down the exposure on my camera. All right, so yeah, like I thought, this tarantula didn't actually eat, but the next one I'm gonna bring out is definitely going to eat. So let's check that out. All right, so this tarantula is called the Mexican fire leg tarantula, and I'm gonna feed her right now. She usually goes crazy for food. So I'm gonna drop it in in three, two, one. Oh, there we go. And instantly she ate. So the last tarantula was the chili and rose hair tarantula. And I said that was my first tarantula. And she's always been like that, uh, reluctant to eat. So whatever I would throw like superworms or crickets into her enclosure, she would never eat. And I thought that all tarantulas were like that until I started getting more. And um, as I started getting more tarantulas, I saw that it varies between species really or not even species but individual tarantulas the way each one of them eats is different some of them might be crazy eaters and some of them might just be chill like the chilling rose hair so it always varies all right so now that we're done here let's go ahead and feed another animal all right so oscar has been wanting to eat these super worms this whole time so i'm gonna go ahead and give him one let's see if he wants it come on man eat it Oh, he just keeps looking at it, but there we go. He literally just ate one and then went back into his cave. I don't know why he doesn't want to eat more. I literally have one right here. All right, so a little bit earlier, I talked about my salmon pink bird eater tarantula, and I have three of them, and this one right here is the smallest of the three. I'll go from smallest to largest when I show them. Uh, she usually eats pretty well, so she should eat right now. If she doesn't, I'll be kind of surprised. Um, she molted a while back and it is time for her to eat so all the signs point to a good feeding here so let's try it out I'll drop the super worm in in three two one oh that was actually crazy let's bring her over here oh there we go a perfect shot right here you can see the super worm she just ate it all right, cool. Let's go ahead and feed the next one. Okay, so here's my second salmon pink bird eater tarantula, and this is the bigger one. Uh, there's still one that's bigger than this one, but I'm gonna try and feed this one. This one is also an amazing eater. Um, this whole species really tends to be good eaters. Like I talked about before, uh, individual tarantulas have different feeding responses, but uh, overall across the board, I've had pretty good eaters uh, with the species. So let's go ahead and drop in the super worm. I'm gonna drop it in three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, so now that we're done here, let's go ahead and see the biggest salmon pink bird eater tarantula. All right, so here we have my biggest salmon pink bird eater tarantula. She's honestly huge. Uh, I had a Goliath bird eater tarantula, but unfortunately she passed away. So this tarantula is now the biggest tarantula I have out of all of them. And as you can see right here, she actually just molted. So I won't be feeding her today because I'm still waiting for her fangs to strengthen again. So yeah, she's looking good. She's healthy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to another tarantula right now. And I think you guys are really gonna like this one. This should be a pretty interesting feeding right here. So this is my Goody Sapphire Ornamental Tarantula's enclosure. And I told you guys that this is actually my favorite tarantula because of its blue and yellow colors. Now, she actually built 
this whole little tunnel over here and has two openings. One opening is up here. Another opening is down here. You'll get a better look at it in one second as I turn it. So there she is right there. You can't see her blue colors just yet because of the lighting, but pretty soon you will be able to. So let's get this turned over and I'm going to feed her. I'm going to put the super worm in through here and then hopefully it drops down here perfectly on her. And yeah, this seems like a good plan. So let's do it. It's going to be a little bit hard to see her blue and yellow colors, but this is the best I could do for now. I set up my phone in a way where it shines perfectly because really when you look at a tarantula, the lighting really matters in how you see its colors. All right, so let's feed this tarantula. I've got the super worm right here. Let's go ahead and just put it through here and I'm gonna drop it and but first I'm gonna set up the camera over here so let's do it three two one. Oh, there we go and she did eat it that's awesome okay so let's try to get a closer look I want to see if I could see one of her fangs oh is that it right there I think that's it right there so if you look right at the middle of the screen there's a little bit of white coming out of the worm and that is exactly where its fang is so yeah cool I have another one of these so I'm gonna try to feed that and then hopefully you guys can see uh, what the colors of a goody sapphire ornamental tarantula really look like so this is my second goody sapphire ornamental tarantula's enclosure and she usually rests inside of this cork bark right here at night I'll see her come out and she'll make some webs back here and also over here I put this other piece of wood here so she can go in and hide uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this right now and hopefully we can get a look at her colors because the last one was a little bit hard to see all right let's go ahead and take this out this will come out together so that's easy and there she is oh she's going crazy all right so we got lucky today because we are actually seeing the goody sapphire ornamental tarantula's colors this is crazy this tarantula is literally my favorite uh, i never get tired of seeing her every night and i always say night because during the day they're always just hidden but when you keep tarantulas at night they all come out and it's really interesting all right so she moved a little bit but i'm gonna try to feed her so let's drop in the super worm in three two one. Oh no yeah she's not gonna eat that let's see if i can pick it up again all right so i just picked up the super worm again and let's try to toss it closer to her this time three two one okay that was pretty good but let's see if she's actually gonna eat i think i moved the cage around too much and she didn't like that so now she's not gonna eat and that's something you guys have to keep in mind if you're gonna ever get a pet tarantula and feed it you don't want to bother it too much but yeah even though we didn't get to see her eat she's looking good and that's going to be the last tarantula for this video all right so if you made it to the end of the video i wanted to personally thank you uh i put a lot of effort into making all these videos uh, it takes me a lot of time and I think about YouTube 24 7 <laughs> it's crazy I mean I'm in college right now uh, I graduate with my bachelor's degree in May and then I think I'm gonna go for my master's in computer science so yeah there's a lot coming I want to get these hats done like I said before there's a waiting list that I made for these hats so if you check in the description you guys can add yourselves to the waiting list and be notified when I release these hats I don't know if I'm gonna release this exact like colorway uh, because I'm I'm working on a few of them uh, like I said before I am gonna do a live stream so if you have any questions that you want to ask me uh, come to the live stream so yeah thanks for watching